you've got to get the call. You've got to get your hand down in the dirt up front and be ready to play. Deeks going up tempo. Hartman with some touch and an open man near the 30. It is caught and dragged down at the 20 yard line. 22, I think it is, does a good job of, of keeping that corner over there. And how about this play? It's Jack Fago who got in there and a loss of six. To put Wake on the board first on their first drive. And Skiba is money. 20 in a row for Skiba. Give me the offense every single time. We've seen it one for each team. One for you, one for me here today. Out into the flat of an open man. Inside the 20, down to the 10. And close to the seven yard line. Hi guys, that's why they're so excited about it. Cunningham spins down to the goal line. Cunningham is in for the touchdown for Louisville. This has been a good bend, but don't break defense all season long for Wake Forest. They've been excellent defensively in the red zone, but you know who else has been excellent in the red zone? Under that jersey, I didn't know jerseys could stretch that far. Hartman fires and hits. Break it away. Morin down the sideline near the 15. Taylor Morin catch and run. But he's learned over time that that's been successful at riding to side. Hartman wants to throw it. It's deflected. Pops in the air. Down to about the one foot line. As soon as you look up, these guys are going to be over the football, all set, ready to go. Cunningham, sturdy pocket, hits his man. That's Watkins. He's got a first down and out near the 35 yard line. Travion Red had to force Watkins out of bounds. You see how upset he was? He couldn't turn it up and take it to the paint. 17 yards on the previous play. Cunningham wants to uncork it again. Down near the 30 as he was going down to the turf. Dez Melton coming up with the catch for Louisville. 67 would meet 107. Cunningham can't get out of the pocket. Doesn't matter now. Sack for the Deeks. Wake had six sacks in the win last Friday at Virginia. Now Turner in for a 42-yarder. He's got a streak of his own going. Will it continue? It will. That is 12 in a row now for James Turner. Commissioner John Swafford, who I think is the gold standard of commissioners. But the ability for us to play last year was outstanding. And now we had a, a chance to get back into play this year and to have fans like you see here today. Two seasons ago, rather, the first play of the game jumped off sides. The penalties. Can't let the penalties kill you. Huggins Bruce. Near the 35-yard line, red on the stop. Looking for the go-ahead points, tied at 10 with Wake. Cunningham, shifty move at the 7, to the end zone, and in for Cunningham. A five-yard run to the house, and his second rushing TD. Watch number two, Luigi Villain. Does a great job getting upfield, turn him back in. Where are all your buddies at? Nobody there, that means inside. Sophomore quarterback from Cornelius, North Carolina. Trying to stay in that pocket. It collapses on him, and Hartman is going down. Poor body churning, kept it going to move those chains. Uh-oh. Hartman bucks some time, and it's on schedule to Taylor Morin. Touchdown, Wake Forest of 42 yards. And he hit Morin in stride. For the 42-yard score, James. Well, again, the safety that time, it was, it was 27. Just gets caught standing flat-footed. Two safeties, both transfers in. He's got the most career receiving yards among ACC tight ends. This is a rush for Mitchell. And he fights his way down inside the 35-yard line. 16 yards, Jalen Mitchell in a first down Louisville. The third down and long. With just under 110 remaining in the half. Two of six on third down. They've missed their last three chances on third down. This caught on the seam. Up to grab it. Roberson. Down to the 41 of Louisville. Wants the fair catch. Steps to it at the 12. Loses it. Wake picks it up. Jasir Taylor was standing there and caught it on the bounce. 
sitting right at the 20 yard line. A nice gift before halftime. Cusp of the red zone, two for two in the red zone with a touchdown of the field goal. Hartman rolls, deflected. Did Roberson come up with it? He did. Eight yard line, catch Roberson. 12 yards. 20 yards away for Skiba. Last play, second quarter. Skiba. No issue from 20 yards away. Two for two on field goal attempts. They have to get to the wake 40. Cutting in. Pressure wrapped up and down. Luigi Valain, the sack for the Deeks. First and goal, Wake Forest. Ellison. Straight ahead. Ellison. Touchdown, Wake. Seven yards, Justice Ellison. Largest lead of the ball game. Wake by 10, 27-17. Mr. Ellison reaching. Yeah, nice job to clear the way by the big guys up front. Now you're working more manageable territory. Up the middle of Mitchell. First down to the 10. Takes the tumble there, but did the work to get the first down and move the sticks in 16 yards. Contributing in a big way here on the road, trying to chip away at this 10-point lead. Three for three in the red zone for the Cardinals. This one to the end zone and caught for the touchdown. Trying to get right in the face of Cunningham, buying him some time. Decent coverage. Got to bring some pressure. You got to put some pressure on Hartman. And they've got brought three. They haven't gotten to him. Hartman's pass sails and it's picked. Picked off with Terry Cole on the return for Louisville. How about that momentum swing? Oh, for their last six on third down, Louisville. Trailing by three. Cunningham wants the run. Skips out of a tackle. Reinforcements come for Wake Forest. And he stopped at a loss of two. From 46 to tie our game, Turner. On the way. Yes, sir, for Turner. Now, instead of a first down after that false start penalty, you got third and five. Hartman. That one near the 40. Up to grab it. Roberson as he beat Clark. Big gain for Wake and a first down. 32 yards to Roberson. Third down and six, and the ball is on the eight right now. Eight of 16 on third down. Hartman looking left all the way. Now has to go back right. Gets rid of it. Back corner of the end zone. A.T. Perry for the score for Wake Forest. Told you it was time for A.T. Perry to make a little bit of noise. Again, the pressure finally gets there, but by an even more time is Hartman to roll out. And, and it's, it's so much to ask these defensive backs, even in a condensed part of the field, down in the red zone, everything gets so tight. Even in a phone booth, it's tough to cover some of these guys. You, you wouldn't wish that on anyone, and a great job by A.T. Perry. We need the explosive play from somebody other than Malik Cunningham. Cunningham gets that ball there, fires one right down the middle, and they get it to the track star. How about that, number eight? Second and 10, 152 on the game clock. Tied at 34. Breaking away and down the sideline. Ellison inside the 40. Will it come down to that on second and two? Stop short. In fact, that might be a loss. Murphy the hold. Skiba. Right down Broadway. Keep it alive. Razzle dazzle. Keep it pitching. That's what we'll get. Pass is caught, Watkins. Now they toss it around. Ends up back with Watkins. The ball flipped and caught by an offensive lineman. Ball's on the turf, and that's going to do it. Wake Forest. 5-0 for the Demon Deeks. And they win it 37-34. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.